uh, start the recording here and uh, welcome to the webinar what i'm going to be discussing here uh, is the explosive kind of day trading opportunities in this uh, current market environment i just so let's get started so there's some explosive day trading opportunities so i just want to take you into the platform right away before i get into the uh, presentation material and what i'm going to do this is of course the es futures here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you to, into a into a one year daily chart of the es itself and uh, let's uh, zoom out a little bit here and then um, what i also want to do is i want to add one study here uh, called the atr atr many people might know what it is it is the average true range of uh, you know whatever stock or whatever chart you are uh, you're doing and uh, so the average true range is uh, and this is for the es futures or you could you, you could put the spx also it doesn't matter it's the same thing so the average true range of the spx which is the smp uh, you know index is uh, as you can see from the end of february you can see the average true range so what the average true range does is go back 14 days and create an average out of it because and you can set those parameters right here uh, you know the number 14 there so on that you know and then it calculates a moving average of the past 14 days and you can see that we're back in jan and even you know up until the you know the, all of uh, you know last year you can see the uh, the average true range was in the 20s maybe gone up to the 40s uh, but from the end of Feb, you can see that the average true range has jumped all the way uh, to about 150. Now, in the last two weeks, the markets have been going up. The volatility has been coming down. And so you, you're seeing the average true range come down a little bit here. It's come down, but it's still very, very elevated. It's, you know, it's about 110. That's a lot. In, in, in one day, the average move is about 100 days. And a couple of weeks back, that was 150 points on the SPX. So, uh, you know, we're looking at some very explosive intraday moves, uh, whether it's to the upside or to the downside. And the, you know, it, there's been, it, it's been coming down, but what is not factored into these markets here is the earnings capacity. And ultimately, stock prices have to reflect uh, the company's future earnings, future earnings growth, and all of that. And so we are not even at the beginning, we are just at the beginning of the first earnings cycle post COVID-19. And so, you know, just a handful of companies have reported so far, the real damage to the economy is not factored into the stock markets as of now. So at some point, I think when all this data starts coming in this quarter, next quarter, and all of that, you're going to see more volatility coming in. So this is not, I mean, I think people are thinking, okay, the worst is over and the markets have charged higher, which is true. It, it, it's come off at least uh, about uh, 25, 30% of the lows, but this is typical of bear markets. You know, it, it'll go down very hard, come back up. And then, you know, it, it'll, you know, once the real damage is uh, is known to the economy and to these companies uh, bottom lines that's when i think the next leg and, and that can happen anytime I mean, that can happen even uh, from this week onwards so we are looking at an average true range which is extremely volatile so how do you take advantage of this and frankly to tell you the truth this is the perfect time for day trading so even you know i also run a swing signal uh, service and even within that service we, we are trying to keep the trades very tight, you know, just hold it for you know, a couple of days, three days, four days, because otherwise what we would normally do in a swing type of an environment, you need this kind of a trending environment up or down uh, so that you can create trades that can last for a few days or a few weeks. But that is not the environment we are in. And so we are taking advantage of time decay. We are taking advantage of volatility ups and volatility downs as well. And um, so even in the swing signals program, it's a, it's a very tightly controlled uh, environment right now. But the real opportunity lies in day trading here. So I just wanted to show that as a, as a, you know, as a starting point for our webinar, because you can see the kinds of opportunities that are coming up uh, in, uh, in, in, in the day trading itself. Uh, and so we'll, we'll be talking about that. We're going to talk about some of these algos. You're going to see all of this in this, uh, in, in this webinar and how they can be used to exploit intraday trading opportunities. Now, you know, many of us are spending, uh, you know, time at, uh, you know, a, a time at home. We have time on our hands. And so 
this is a great time to be looking at these kinds of opportunities uh, you know while we also look at our, you know our work but it's all work from home you have the flexibility and so this is actually perfect timing for something like this so algo trading in general has become popular it's been popular for a few years but uh, only at the institutional investor level and not at the retail uh, trader level but now these platforms have uh, you know opened up a lot of uh, possibilities and uh, so the main thing that algos can do for us is cut down our uh, time we uh, you know we take to cycle through various charts and indicators and uh, you know and and see which is a good trading opportunity so now algos can be coded and especially on the thinkorswim platform and even on other platforms uh, they can be coded to do the same thing so that it can filter out the best candidates uh, you know on on any watch list and so you might be interested in the S&P 500 the all 500 stocks or you might be interested in a much smaller basket but whatever it is you can create a watch list and these algos can be coded to filter out some kind of information obviously algos and indicator when, when an algo gets turned into an indicator it's going to apply to a chart and um, you know we are going to see all of this so at option tiger we've created um, you know five different algos here one is the multi time frame trend algo and of course it's also an indicator it plots the trend on five different time frames uh, we also have the spx day ticks this is a very deep market internal uh, indicator then there is a simple day trading and a simple swing trading algo which uh, takes into consideration price and momentum and uh, you know all of that and then we have the custom rsi also over here so we'll be talking about i will we'll be showing it to you on the platform as well and if a trading opportunity comes up uh, you know we're going to take it so first we'll talk about the multi time frame trend indicator which is i know i think it's the mother of all indicators because it captures trends in all time frames works for all kinds of charts and so let's let me just give a brief introduction of that it's a very powerful versatile and flexible indicator and it captures trends up to five levels on a single chart so it can work for intraday trading it can work for long term uh, trading or investing and it works for all time frames in between and it works on stocks options so whether you're a stock trader option trader etfs futures gold whatever it is if you can put it on a chart uh, you can also uh, see this indicator in action. All right. So the we, so the multi time frame uh, trend indicator can can and you can set it for day trading. You can set it for uh, uh, you know swing trading as well. And then the the great part is there is a master indicator that shows you when all of these trends are aligned on all these time frames. And so it's a very visual representation, and this makes trading a no brainer. So we'll show you how that is and. Uh, and it also shows you clearly when to exit on all time frames. Now you, you can try to maximize your profit. You may not, you know, get the best point, but that's okay. You know, the whole point of the trade is to capture about 70, 75 percent of the move, and so that's what we'll be talking about. Then we have the SPX uh, deep market internals indicator. So you already have, uh, you know, lots of uh, internals. So you, you must have heard about the Vol SPD, the AD SPD, uh, and you must have also heard about the ticks. But what the SPX ticks algo does is it maintains a cumulative, um, you know, it, it, it maintains a cumulative ticks of all 500 stocks. And so it gives you a very good indication of the market breadth because it's looking at all 500 uh, stocks. And, and, and so, you know, whether it's uh, strong, weak, uh, neutral, uh, it is, uh, you know, it's going to show you that. So we're going to see that as well. So now, the day trading and swing trading algos are, are, are key because uh, this is where you can put these algos onto a watch list and you can set it up on a watch list column. And so it replaces the scan function. You don't have to do a scan because as long as you can, you, you can create your watch list, these day trading, very bullish and very bearish candidates will be filtered right at the top. So we're going to look at both of those as well. And um, so finally, we have the custom RSI indicator, which is a simple indicator, but it's been customized because the normal RSI, it, it just tells you overbought and oversold and generally considered to be a reversal indicator. Whereas uh, the custom RSI uh, is, is, is going to clearly show you the bullish and the bearish zones. And so that, the, uh, you know, custom RSI is persistent. It tells you. Uh, how long you can be in the trade and once again we're not trying to catch 100% of the move but at least 70 to 75% uh, 
and uh, you know if you can do that you're going to be doing great on you know on on any trade so uh, the custom rsi also works on any time frame and it works on any chart so what i'm going to do now is to go over to the platform and i've got all these now i've put this on a one year daily chart uh, what i want to do is uh, drop down to a one minute chart uh, just to show the market open and uh, for that i will put the i'll put the es futures here and uh, let's because es futures also has uh, uh, the um, what do you call the the, the pre market action and uh, things like that so here you can see the spx sticks let me zero in a little bit here and uh, you'll see that uh, if you can uh, you know if you can see here now in the pre market if you're trading futures or if you're trading options on these futures you can see a bullish trend started somewhere here now you're not going to see any tick spx because stock trading has not started yet and you will have to go back to the previous day to see the spx ticks uh, which would have been on friday and uh, that's where you'll see it here you can see the spx ticks and so between the S, the ticket you know spx ticks the custom rsi and the multi time frame i'm going to take out the average true range because we don't need that anymore so i uh, just wanted to show the uh, the real uh, big moves that are happening in the market and how we can take advantage on uh, you know on, on a day trading on an intraday trading basis so right here you can see the uh, the multi time frame trend is telling you that it's aligned across all of these so you, you know you're going to see about five rows here and if you and and i have put this uh, you know configuration as a 10 minute 15 minute 20 minute and 30 minute and so this you can config, uh, configure within your studies if you look at the studies itself the multi time uh, time frame trend you can configure all of these time frames to whatever you want and i'm going to show you a swing trading setup this is a day trading setup but i'm going to show you a, a swing trading setup also so the lowest row is the time frame of the chart itself so in, in our case this is a one minute chart and so the lowest row is is that so it's telling you it's you know it's green on the one minute the next is a 10 minute now normally if i had a one minute chart i would put the next one as five minutes or what we can also do is put the chart as a five minute and then you can see over the past uh, 10 minutes we've had a nice uh, bullish uh, you know signal over here so that started right here and it, it it is still going on when i say bullish it's all relative we are looking at 47 points down on the es futures at this point so the market is obviously going to open lower but this is intraday trading and so uh, you know what uh, you want to catch a trend that is lasting for about 15 20 minutes maybe half an hour maybe 40 minutes who knows if you can catch a 45 minute trend that is awesome but uh, you know that may not be possible all the time in most of the time i've seen the trend uh, you know runs out in about 15 minutes 20 minutes and then it can resume again at some point and so there we go the markets have started and i want to drop down back to a one minute because you want to see start seeing the spx tick activity as well so now you can see the market is going down you know right at the open uh, it, it's taking uh, you know it's taking a breather and so you see this one red dot come up on the on the uh, on the one minute chart however on the other time frames we are still looking a little bullish but all of that can change and uh, so let's uh, let's give this uh, and you can see the first dot on the tick spx also is opening a negative 188 so the way the tick spx works is you have a zero line it's a simple thing it's a cumulative calculation of all the up ticking stocks minus the down ticking stocks and of all 500 stocks in the smp and so some talk, uh, some stocks may not trade right at the open so you know whatever is trading whatever information is available from the exchange this is taking it straight from the exchange and it's calculating a some kind of a number that is uh, you know cumulative uh, for all the stocks so you know it started off at uh, negative 196 and you can see the next dot is developing at negative 386 so obviously we know that it's going to be a bearish day or at least a bearish start right here and so you want to wait for the opportunity and so for the ticks you have to give it some time to develop the es futures obviously because they trade uh, you know almost 24 hours a day you have a lot more information on the es futures but it remains to be seen how this uh, you know goes ahead so while these are developing let me uh, show you how um, so, so this is an intraday setup so this is how you would set it up and you have these parameters that you can tweak on all these uh, on all these algos and indicators and uh, so i also have a different setup for 
uh, a swing trading environment and so you can see uh, you'll be able to see that as well saying something okay it's gone these are some trades i've put over here on our swing service so now you can see clearly at least temporarily you know there is a nice uh, bullish signal developing so our first green dot is over here and um, so although the ticks are still showing negative because obviously i mean it, the s p is still down about uh, 40 odd points and so you will see most of the stocks are ticking down rather than ticking up but let's see how this develops and i wanted to go to the swing trading time frames here and uh, show you also how you would set it up in terms of a swing trade so here you go we have a three month daily chart so when you're looking at a swing trading environment what you want to do is you want to you, uh, you want to try to go slightly longer and uh, and so um, you know here's a three month daily chart so on the three month daily chart you can see if you were a swing trader on the spx itself uh, you know your red dots have started right here and this was on march i mean i, I mean i'm sorry feb uh, 24th it has started and so if you were more of a persistent kind of a trader i mean you know in these times it's very difficult to be because one one massively up day can uh, can upend your trade and so you have to be careful about that however you can see the trend developing and as soon as the trend goes away you can see that you're going to have uh, you know gaps in the master level now this is the master level indicator which tells you all of this is aligned and so this is a daily chart and so for the swing trading uh, you know environment i've uh, configured this to be uh, two days four days one week and one month so we have at any in, just on one single chart itself you can visually see what the trend is over five different time frames so in this case the daily the two days the four days the weekly and the monthly and so under normal circumstances if you were a swing trader uh, and we don't have this kind of volatility going this can be very very helpful because if you can you know you can also go back and uh, if you put a one uh, one year chart here you'll see that on a swing trading basis uh, you, you know you would have had fantastic opportunities look at these green dots right here you know and uh, so you know, even in our swing signal service most of our trades were directional it was to the bullish side until of course we hit in, we ran into february and uh, that's when uh, we had to change our strategies even there but uh, these things can last for a while see that you know if you if you get in on you know on a nice trade you can you know you can go with it there for 10 days 12 days 14 days uh, and uh, with some uh, uh, very good very good uh, you know results here now you, it doesn't have to be just the index you can see that this works on all stocks also now amazon's pretty much the only stock that is doing well in this whole uh, virus uh, crisis issue but let's go back beyond that and you, you can see some persistent trends even on amazon here's a nice bullish trend that would have given a, a very good trade over a period of i would say one week or eight days uh, it was coming from 18 uh, uh, 20 all the way down to somewhere let's say over here uh, which would be about 17 35 almost 100 points on amazon so similarly uh, you know if you're whatever time frame you're trading in if you just follow the indicators and go in and of course you always have the option of coming out whenever you want so so for example if you were in this bullish trend on this trade and you see this big red down day even though it's you know that's just one bar over there but if you see this kind of a bar and you want to get out of the trade that's fine that's perfectly fine you've already caught a huge move so when you see this bar developing on a day and if you think amazon is just going to get uh, you know hammered that day come out of the trade and so it also you know you can you, you can also take your own decisions as long as you catch the big move uh, i think that's the way to look at uh, these kinds of opportunities so let me go back to our uh, one minute chart and see how things are developing here and uh, this is a five day five minutes so i'm going to drop down to a one minute here and uh, 5 10 15 and uh, 20 minutes so with these four time frames in over there uh, that gives me a much more uh, clearer picture about the trend coming in uh, you know, or rather the very short term because when we are uh, uh, when we are uh, looking at intraday trading you want to be able to uh, you want to be able to uh, get the uh, the trend information coming in fairly quickly and so here we are looking at 1 minute 5 minute 10 minute 15 minute and 20 minutes so now you can see at least from the open 
the uh, the ticks have somewhat stabilized you, know, you can see some improvement uh, you know you can see some green dots but the trend is telling you now for the past uh, you know since the open it's really moving it wants to move higher and you can also see the custom rsi also moving into the bullish zone so between these three indicators it can give you a very solid trading picture and so you know you probably were you know if we were watching this uh, around here you know we would have gotten into this trade when even the custom rsi goes in the the tick is showing a green dot and definitely the multi time frame trend so this is a, i would say a very primary type of you know it's the mother of all indicators because uh, especially from an intraday standpoint you know you want to get good trending information uh, right away and so the multi time frame trend indicator does that and it can give a, a very good uh, you know you know opportunity so say after this bar somewhere here 2825 we are already looking at about 5 points on the spx and so 5 points on the spx of course granted it's not a whole lot but uh, what you can uh, you know think of is you know sometimes these moves are much more you know 10 points 15 points and if you are trading a 35 delta or a 40 delta option uh, a 10 point move can generate a couple of thousand dollars in profit right away on the spx options uh, and so it can be very very powerful so you can see the market is improving slightly and it's uh, it's uh, you know down only 40 points uh, in the pre market it was uh, down about 55 i would say went went down to about a maximum of 55 or 58 but here we go let's watch this and you can see the ticks also improving now uh, and so it's telling you market is trying to recover obviously we i think we missed this trade entry point over here could have taken a trade i actually wanted to do a live trade let's see if we get another opportunity but uh, it's it's simple get taking the trade is as simple as just looking at this and deciding when you want to get in you know it's as uh, uh, it's as simple as that and uh, so uh, because what you see is what you get Where, you know here you can see these dots developing over these five different uh, time frames and uh, you know it, it, taking the trade is, is is becomes a no brainer you know you you take a 30 delta 35 delta 40 delta option or you can go in the money also and so uh, you know that's all up to you know up to each other and so now you see if you're taking a trade here uh, uh, you know you see this bar developing now if you want to get out that's fine because you've captured this move you've captured this move and this can generate I would say in this case it was about five to seven points uh, you know uh, and that would have generated about eight hundred nine hundred dollars even if you were just trading five contracts I'm saying just five contracts uh, that would have generated about eight hundred to nine hundred dollars and so as you see the trend coming off now you'll see the red dot appearing here and we might probably see a, a degradation in the SPX value. I mean, the ticks are already negative to, to, to begin with. So it's a negative 368. And when you see a green dot, it doesn't mean it's positive. It's just saying it's better than the previous one. So that's how you have to look at these. Uh, if there is an improvement from the previous dot, it's going to show green. If there is, a, if there is not an improvement, in fact, if it goes down, then you're going to see a red dot. So that's what the ticks mean. Uh, custom RSI also turning around. You can see that it's uh, you know it's coming off the bullish uh, trend, and here we have one dot already developing on the multi time frame uh, trend indicator. So let's watch this for a couple of more minutes. And um, so this is how you can take advantage of intraday opportunities in the market because today, I mean nowadays, the uh, I've, I've just been noticing that the ranges are just incredible, incredible ranges. Uh, and so, all right, I see a lot of questions. Uh, I'll, I'll get to them. And, um, you know, uh, there's just incredible opportunities on a daily basis. The S&P is just moving around 50, 60, 70, 80 points. And uh, that just produces incredible opportunities in all the stocks as well. I mean, Amazon is, is one stock that's particularly bullish. But if I change this, and so this is the day trading, uh, you know, day trading algo that I'm talking about here. You see this column on the watch list. And so if you are day trading stocks, um, you know, this column has code behind it, custom, you know, custom uh, indicator code. And this will tell you what are the very bullish, very bearish. And this is working on a day trading environment. And so you'll see it change from very bullish to bullish to very bearish and all of that, depending on the moves. Now, you obviously you want to focus only on the very bullish and the very bearish because all of this neutral and bullish and bearish is fine but you want the best candidates and so you want to focus either on the very bullish or on the very bearish so if we look at the google chart for example for today 
uh, it's a one day one minute chart and here the algo has already told you that it's very bearish and so if you look at it here from the open uh, you, you, yeah there we go here you can see i mean this is a clearly bearish chart and so you know everything is telling you it's bearish and it, uh, when you're looking at a stock the tick spx does not matter okay the tick spx does not matter so on this chart if you were doing it for stocks you would not have this indicator at all because the tick spx works only if you're day trading the spx or the spy or the es or the es futures or the options on the es so here but google is a you know it's it, it, once again the trend is already established here and uh, you can see that this column so this column acts as a filter you know it acts as a great filter so that you don't have to cycle through all of these stocks to know which ones are very bullish and which ones are very bearish on a day like this you would be looking for bearish candidates no doubt uh, because the smp is also bearish uh, and so you have the choice of google you have the choice of paypal you have visa and you have nvidia so let's take another look at uh, a different stock nvidia so over the past 4 minutes nvidia has been showing bearish and uh, so if you wanted to take the trade you would have taken it after this bar once you uh, you have to let the bar finish so that the dot uh, you know is, is done and uh, then you would you would take the trade on the second dot so somewhere on this bar you would take the trade your trade may not have been very profitable yet and so you would still be in this trade let's take a look at a couple of other uh, bearish candidates over here yeah booking there we go bookings uh, booking started getting bearish over here and uh, yeah from this point onwards you can see that this is clearly bearish and this would have been a lovely trade so similarly the swing trading algo is different and so let me show you the uh, let me show you the swing trading algo so i'm going to remove the day trades from here and i'm going to remove i'm going to show the swing trade just to uh, to uh, to show it and so if we if i put that and now what we have is a swing trading setup and so uh, you will you will find candidates that are bullish or bearish for uh, uh, for a swing trading environment and so like uh, now let me and you'll see most of the, the stocks will be bullish okay why because over the past two or three weeks everything has been very bullish and so if you go and see google the same thing on a swing trading chart which would, which means you would have jumped you would have you would need to jump to a three month daily chart it's very bullish it's pretty bullish you can see that all right and so now the multi time frame won't work because these are all customized for the day trading and you would have to set up another chart and uh, you know uh, that's why in fact uh, let's go to the swing trading time frame itself and i'll put google here and uh, you'll see that uh, you know, it's it, it's been pretty bullish. It's been pretty bullish uh, over the last uh, two weeks or so. So with this, now granted, the multi time frame trend is not still on the monthly trend. It is still not showing green, and of course that should make sense because uh, you know after this kind of a move, uh, the monthly obviously will take a little bit more time uh, for it to develop. And so, uh, but in a swing trading time frame, you don't have to wait for all five to. Uh, to uh, to actually be green or, or to be red because as soon as you can see the trend changing like you have four dots here that itself is good enough you have four out of the five time frames that are aligned so right here after this you would take the trade and if you took the trade on uh, the 7th of april you would still be in this trade granted today is a down day but from a swing trading perspective uh, you know this would still be a fairly bullish trade so let me go back to our intraday because that's really what we are focusing on here today drop down to a one minute uh, time frame again and uh, let's see how things are going here on the es definitely trying to recover definitely trying to recover and we still have we have, so we have some uh, you know uh, patchy uh, uh, sort of price action here as you can see you know if you just see this part it's very very patchy it's, it, it, it's choppy so it's up and down up and down therefore you will see some of these indicators, especially on the lowest uh, lowest time frame. Uh, you'll see some of these indicators turn to red. But what I would say is, just because one thing is turning red, uh, it may not be enough to get out of uh, the uh, you know out of the trade. You can you can still be in the trade. And so all of this is also you know it, it comes down to eyeballing, also seeing what the charts are doing, seeing what the charts are saying. But in terms of the trend information, in terms of the Tick information and in terms of the custom RSI, uh, it's telling you to stay in this trade. Also, you know, at this point, if you know, if you if you were in this bullish trade, it's telling you to stay stay in that. 
And so, as you can see, the swing trading algo will give you very different results from the day trading algo because the day trading algo literally looks, up, looks at maybe the past half an hour or one hour, whereas uh, the swing trading goes back, uh, you know, at, at least, uh, uh, you know, uh, two weeks at, uh, or one, one month and then it comes up with the algo there. So I'm going to you know, customize this again and go back to uh, the day trading, um, day trading algo here. And let's see if the day trade uh, has produced anything different. We've already seen, um, we've already seen booking. We've already seen uh, a couple of others, uh, Visa and Nvidia and all of that. So let's see if we can uh, see any more that has come in here. And then of course you can sort it so that you're very bullish and very bearish are right there on the, on, on the top. So now you can see the, some of these that were very bearish, for example, Nvidia has become neutral. And so if we look at Nvidia, why is it neutral? And uh, I'm sorry, I didn't click on Nvidia. Okay, why is it neutral? Yeah, you know that's why because uh, there's you know there's a change in the it, there's a change in the trend, and of course it's following the S and P. All stocks are correlated to the S and P in some sense, and uh, so you know it's it, you know it's obviously going to follow that. So this is how it would work in terms of the algos, and this is how you can use these. Uh, to capture day trading opportunities, most part, but not that you can't capture swing trading. Of course, we use this, we use these in our uh, swing trading signals program itself. But what I'm saying is, this is particularly a great time for, to be day trading because of these huge moves that are happening on an intraday basis. I see there are uh, lots of questions, so let me see if I can go back and just uh, listen to all the questions here. Okay, please mute your mics. Very good. All right. All right. Yes, there will be a recording. Uh, uh, there will be a recording available. And uh, yeah, well, you know, bandwidth is an issue. Everybody's uh, hooked up onto Zoom and the entire world is uh, is using bandwidth uh, even more so than normal times. So everybody's bandwidth is being, uh, you know, constrained right now that okay once in a webinar you remember uh, you had mentioned it is good to start trading 30 minutes to one hour after yeah i mean i'm saying that as a general guideline you don't have to wait for 30 minutes you know at least a few minutes to uh, to wait but in today's market it, you know all those guidelines uh, you know a lot of those guidelines uh, you know have to be have to be adapted uh, today uh, you know if there is a serious bullish or a serious uh, uh, bearish uh, momentum coming into the open uh, that thing can just run away within five minutes. It can just completely run away. So all of that has to, you know, you also have to apply some kind of subjective judgment to what is going on in the market. And, uh, uh, you know, when it comes to trading, you you can't look at black box type systems. That's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Uh, there is a lot of subjectivity that uh, many people don't appreciate that comes into trading. And, and especially when it's decision making time, uh, you know, when you have to take decisions on trades, okay, do you exit? Do you, uh, do you cut the losses or do you double down? I mean, these are all decisions that everybody has to go through and, and you, you really cannot coach that kind of thing. So, you know, when we, when we put out some guidelines, it applies in, in most situations, but we are not in most situations. We are, we are in very, very abnormal times right now. And this is going to continue. I mean, uh, the impact of uh, these companies' bottom lines is going to be felt um, for, you know, two, three, four quarters, five quarters. So, you know, this kind of a big uh, move, uh, you know, big, big move environment uh, is, going to, is going to persist. And so it is broadly affecting every company, every business, every, every kind of economy on the planet. And so this is going to take a while before uh, it can, we can see some kind of recovery. Uh, and so it just gives you, you know, much more opportunities here uh, uh, this one uh, might even be more prolonged than the 2008 crisis, is uh, you know, is what I'm saying. So we'll see. And so these kind of opportunities are going to last for quite a, you know, for quite a while. So here now you can see it's pulling back again, and so uh, the bullish trends have stopped. The tick SPX is going down, and uh, now we still don't have a bearish trend. So you don't want to take a bearish trade just because you see this. Now, if you want to jump, you know, a little bit and. Uh, uh, take uh, uh, some small opportunities. Yeah, by all means, when you see the tick uh, go go below zero and you're seeing two red dots, uh, custom RSI is is coming out of the bullish zone. Uh, if you want to jump in there, by all means, do it. But just remember, this uh, this trend is not well established in terms of the time frames, and therefore, uh, you know, you would have to uh, you would have to look at that. 
All right, so let me go back to the questions here. Uh, no, this won't help you in the Indian market, uh, Praveen. This uh, this is very specifically to for the for the U.S. markets. And uh, so what I'm showing you here is for the U, uh, for the U.S. markets. I'm unable to see the multi time frame in Fidelity. No, it's not available for Fidelity, and it's not available even on Think Costume. These are my proprietary indicators, folks. Uh, this which I have obviously I, I'm not a developer, but I've, I've got it developed uh, from uh, uh, you know these coders who work on these algos. And um, so that's what it is. Uh, do they work only on the TOS platform? Yes, yeah, they, they work only on the TOS platform. So if you're trading on some other platform, uh, you can you can open a TOS account with just $100, okay? Just keep the minimum and therefore, and just use it for your analysis and, and for your indicators, these kinds of things. Uh, because, you know, that's all you need to, 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 keep, an, to keep an account open uh, at $100. And, uh, you know, you'll have everything in the real time data and all of that, uh, you know, you'll see it right there. Uh, do, do I offer a day trading service? I used to offer, but uh, I don't do that anymore. I'm focused uh, on the, uh, you know, on, on the swing itself. Since I have a day job, I'm unable to watch the market all day. But, you know, right now we are in, we are not in that kind of a mode. Yeah, of course. But if you, if you have a day job, you, you, know, you obviously, uh, you, you might miss out on some of these, uh, you know some of these uh, intraday or, or you know opportunities, but uh, you can use these for swing trading too. I mean, as I said, you know you can use all of these, uh, you know, except for the tick SPX. Okay, the tick SPX is only for day trading. However, and day trading and that too only the uh, the ES or uh, the SPX or the SPY, uh, and so that's very specific. But other than that, the custom RSI as well as the multi time frame trend, uh, you can. Uh, you can use it uh, on uh, any kind of time frame and any kind of chart. And he says, I can't open a toss from the UK. Yeah, unfortunately, there is not much we can do on that. Um, there are a couple of people have, uh, like, I, like I mentioned, the $100 uh, route. A um, couple of people have had their friends in the US open an account and just, you know, given them $100. And uh, so, uh, you know, you know, if you, you know, if you do that, then, uh, uh, then you can have a platform there. I, and that's what I would recommend, Andy. All right, Tammy says, what software is this? You mentioned opening a hundred dollars. Yeah, this is Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade. Okay, so the company that, uh, you know, but, uh, Think or Swim was an independent company, but now it is, uh, you know, it is, uh, what do you call, it is, uh, it's taken over, it's bought over by TD Ameritrade, which is uh, you know, right now the largest uh, broker. Uh, Richard says, Swing Service member recommended, would like to see a few more simple option plays. Richard, you've been in the service for a long time. You know, that's that's all we did was simple option plays, long calls, long puts. But this is just not the time for that. If you do a long call and long put, just the changes in volatility will kill you. Uh, and so this is just not the time for that. That's why we are, you know, somehow we have to uh, see in this kind of volatility, your trades also have to adjust. And. Uh, in this environment, what we are doing, you know, is is uh, uh, is taking advantage. Okay, yeah, all right, you got it. Yeah, so we have to do that. Otherwise, all this, all of last year, we only did. We started out with uh, simple long calls and long puts. That's it. And so, you know, hopefully we can go back to that. But I don't know when. Uh, you know, this thing is here to stay, at least for now. Can I open an account and trade in the U.S. market? Yeah, sure, you can. Yeah, you know, if you're in India, yeah, you can. So, you know, in uh, I know from India, you can now invest up to. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know the, the Reserve Bank has allowed that. All of that. All right. Can you type your email here? Sure. It's info at optiontiger.com. Okay. By the way, um, let me go back to the presentation because there are some uh, very important uh, playlists and things like that uh, that you can go through because you know if you've not seen uh, if you've not seen the if you don't have the opportunity to do live trades, but uh, you know, you're going to get a recording of this. This is for you four playlists that you can look at the white, uh, the, the YouTube, the YT stands for YouTube MTFT. This bitly link will show you uh, everything about the MTFT and, uh, you know, what kind of trades and what are the, you know, what are the usage guidelines and all of that. Similarly, I have one for the SPX custom RSI as well as for our swing signal service. So uh, when you get the recording, you can uh, feel free to visit these uh, YouTube uh, playlists. And uh, the swing service, uh, the swing playlist, uh, and the uh, you know, and the SPX obviously has has some live trade uh, you know uh, examples right there, so you can look at all of that. So let me tell you, uh, you know, this is uh, this is what it is. This is a, this is a very special uh, offer here for these indicators. 
normally just the MPFT alone lists for uh, the uh, 2497, but uh, I want to make this available to everybody. You can take advantage of whether you're a day trader, swing trader, whatever it is. If we buy the indicators from you, is it easy to set up on our toss? I will be giving you full install instructions. It is very easy. It just sets up uh, within within two minutes. You'll be set up properly. And so during this time, I um, wanted to give this opportunity to you know create a really special offer. So normally these SPX sticks goes for 997. The swing goes for 997. The day uh, goes for 997, and the customer RSI for 497. But uh, just with the MTFT alone. Uh, you know, I'm give, you know, I'm I'm going to throw in all of the others for free. So just the MTFT alone, 24.97, you get all of these for free. So it's very very good value. And with these things, you don't have to do that much analysis. You know, you're seeing the charts, you're seeing the indicators. Uh, it's a you know, it's a very visual representation right there. And you know, you might not get the perfect entry, you might not get the perfect exit. But hey, if you can capture 60, 70, 75 percent of the move. And if four out of your five trades, you, uh, you know, your winners and, you know, with these things, especially if you're intraday trading, if it starts going you know, against you, just, you know, either put a stop loss or get out of the trade. It's fairly simple to get out. And if it's you know, if you're looking at a, a very fast moving market, just put a stop loss or a trailing stop loss. That's it. And uh, you'll be a trailing stop loss will capture most of the move because it automatically moves your stop in the in the direction it's going. So, you know, if you buy a call option. The and you know the, the market is going higher or the stock is going higher, uh, and then you you put a trailing stop. The the stop also moves up as the market moves up. Uh, can these be loaded on the Toss mobile app? Unfortunately, no. And Toss has made a very uh, and I, I called them about it because uh, even when I realized that uh, it won't work, and they're saying you know on the mobile app because it's uh, the iOS or Android or whatever, uh, you, you know they don't have the confidence that custom. Uh, 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 you know, custom algos and custom uh, things will, uh, you know, uh, they, they, for some reason, they don't feel comfortable with it. And so they've not allowed it. You can, um, obviously, this works only on a desktop or a laptop or, you know, things like that. Yes, prices are one time only. Yeah, prices are one time only. That's what this is, folks. So I'll leave you with, uh, if you have any further questions, please, uh, you know, do send me an email. And once again, uh, the, the simplest way would be to, you know, uh, to, to make the payment would be, uh, you know, you go to PayPal and you send it to this email address, info at optiontiger.com. That would be the simplest. And uh, so here's some, uh, you know, some, some, some testimonials that had come in earlier. Um, you know, the, thank you for the tool. It works very well. Made 1200 on the first and second and 1900 on the second. Ended up being a $3,100 trade for me. And here we go. Um, here's Craig uh, also made a, a small trade. But uh, see, the, the fact is everybody's account is different. The, you know, if, if you, whether it's a $3,000 account or whether it's a 300000 it doesn't make any difference. Uh, you, you need to use the indicator properly. And uh, that's about, uh, you know, that's all there is. And so here's one more over here. Because most people say, oh, how do I know if it will work for me? It'll work for you if you use it properly, right? You know, if, if, uh, it'll work for you if, if you use it properly because you can see it on the charts. As, and if you can see it on the charts, then the decision making is yours. You know, as I said, when to when to pull the trigger, when to uh, exit the trade. Unfortunately, these are things nobody can really teach anyone else. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of decision making. And you know, there's no point in looking at hindsight. Okay, or you, there's no point in saying. Oh my God! I should have stayed in for five more minutes or ten more minutes. There, there's no point in hindsight thinking like that. You take a decision, you live with it. If you made a, if, you know, if you did not make a good decision, think about what you did not uh, do well and try to improve that aspect the next time. That's it. That's and we are all human. We all will. We can never be perfect in our decisions when it comes to trading. So, so let's go take a look at the markets and see what it's doing. Uh, right now, okay, slightly bullish on the ES uh, for the past four minutes over here. The ticks are improving. Um, I, I ideally, I would have uh, you know wanted to take the you know like I said, there's no see these trends run out in a little bit. So you can see like here's five bars, here's another five bars. The uh, towards uh, towards the open leading into the open, uh, the ES was bullish there. But then you know you don't have options there right now. You know you, you can't trade. And so it's already four bars in right now, Lata. You, you know, this is not the time for uh, for getting into the trade. See, if you're looking at a one-minute chart and you already see four or five bars, that's too late because 
uh, all of these trends will run out at some point. And so if we, the maximum it will run is for, uh, I would say, some, you know, uh, and it's different for each, uh, each chart. Uh, on the left side, we see very bullish. No, that's the swing trading and the day trading algo that I spoke of. So I think maybe you joined in late. If that's the case, you can watch the recording. And uh, that is the day trading and swing trading algo. So here on this webinar, what we've discussed so far are uh, four or five different uh, algos. This is custom RSI. This is the day trading and the swing trading. I think that's what you're referring to. So, but you can catch it on the recording here. All right. So this is, I'm going to drop it back down to one minute, see what's going on in the one minute. Uh, ideally for intraday trading, um, the I would say, um, you know, I would say that uh, you stick to the one minute, especially because we are seeing such huge moves nowadays that, you know, five minutes can be too long. I mean, you could have been, you know, you might be out of the trade in five minutes. So I would say stick to the one minute chart. Yeah, sure enough. Let's let's see here. Let's go to the SPX options. And so when you're day trading, you really don't need to go too much into the uh, into the expiry. So today being a Monday, you know, you wouldn't want to trade something that's expiring today yeah, yeah because that's a little dicey however uh, if you go out to something that's two days that's perfectly fine that's perfectly fine now the problem with this is on the spx these options are huge these are i mean i know they're and that's because the volatility is you know is very elevated so let's say if you did this i mean each one's account size is different but you know i wouldn't do five contracts on this i would do maybe one or maybe two and that's about it. And so you can see it's uh, going for twenty dollars between twenty 2020 twenty and twenty seventeen. So let's see what the charts are saying on the SPX. Okay, the trend has changed again. But let me see what is this? The one, uh, the one minute chart. Go to the ES because the ES gives you a little bit historical uh, information also, and that's uh, you know that's that's important here. So you know it's turned back down again. So. Yeah, no opportunity for a trade today. But like I said, doing the trade is not the is not the real thing because you know when you see the trend, you take the trade because what you see is what you get with the with the uh, with the indicators. And uh, uh, you know, doing doing the trade has a lot more to do with you or to anyone else than me uh, because at the end of the day, trading is not a team sport. Especially this kind of day trading is not a team sport. It's an individual sport and. Uh, Everybody has to deal with their own decision making and all of that. What this gives you is a very powerful set of tools that can, uh, you know, that can assist you with uh, uh, with these trade entries and trade exits. Okay, is there a scan tool? Uh, well, there's a scan tool on on Toss itself right here. You can, you can scan for whatever you want, but. Uh, when you use these, uh, you know, when you use the day trading or the swing trading algo, I would use it as a filter because, you know, this will be a filter to go see what's happening on the MTFT. Uh, because on the MTFT, otherwise you have to click, you know, keep clicking every stock on your watch list uh, to see if it's bullish or bearish. Whereas here, you know, we are, it's already, uh, you know, it's already pulling up all the bullish and all the bearish stocks for you. So uh, whatever the trade direction is, you already have a scan filter right there and that's the that's the beauty of this uh, the day trading and swing trading algos that go into the watch list and so these are the kinds of things that uh, you can so in combination with that you look at this and once you see the mtfts aligning up uh, you take the trade okay folks thanks a lot for coming if you have any further questions please do uh, email uh, email us at info at optiontiger.com and by the way that's the same email for the paypal as well and the easiest way would be to uh, you, you, to send it to that, uh, make the payment to that PayPal address. Now, please do give us, uh, you know, about uh, I would say a few hours, maybe no, no more than 24 uh, to get you the signals, the code, and the install instructions and all of that, because this will be a manual process. And so, once you've made the purchase, just uh, you know, send us an email, and uh, we'll take care of that. Thanks for coming, folks, and uh, have a great day. Have a great day, everyone.